What's up? It's Lindsay here with Pilates On Demand, and today I've got a bar Lottie's class for you that is a leg workout with the mini ball. So we are going to literally get right into it. You just need a ball. If you don't even have a mat, it's also okay. We will go down on the floor near the end, so maybe a mat's good or a little towel just to have some padding. So let's step it nice and wide to a wide second position. You've got your mini ball, pillow, yoga block in hand. That's our prop today. And we're going to take a little over under. So start with the ball in the left hand. You're going to take it down to a nice wide second position. Plie, pass the ball behind you into your right hand, and then you're going to alternate sides, right and left. So this is a little bit of a tricky move here because it forces you to get nice and low in those legs. Good, I just want you to do one alignment check for me. When you bend those knees, I want them to be bending over the center of your feet and not to the inside of that foot. So make sure those knees are wide as we move through this. Good, breathing in and out, and we're getting those legs nice and warm. So let's just start to pick that pace up a little bit. Ready for that leg workout? Because we're about to bring it, guys. <laughs> and even though we're working legs, you know what I'm going to say. Make sure that core is turned on. It is pivotal. Or is that the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Crucial. That was the word I was looking for. <laughs> nice. Let's hit 10 more. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, keep it up, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're standing on this ball now. So find your first position. So the heels are elevated and the ball of the feet are down. If you can get those heels to connect, that's great. We're finding that core, finding that balance. We are upright in that spine as we take it nice and low. I don't want you to go so low that you take a seat because this is almost a little bit more relaxed and we're not really in those leg muscles. So make sure you're off those heels when you go down. And I want you to stop about two inches before a straight leg. Okay, so stay in that working zone. Not too high, not too low. And for this move, your spine is more upright. So lean your head and chest back. Stay nice and proud in that collarbone. Looking good. Breathe in on the way down. Squeeze those heels together. Breathe out on the way up. Don't straighten those knees. Let's stay in it. Taking it down and taking it up. There's nothing quite like a bar Pilates leg workout. It's another kind of insanity burn going on in those leg muscles when we do this kind of routine. So if you start to shake or quiver in your legs, that's not a bad thing. My legs, my muscles definitely do that. It doesn't happen to everybody. But if that happens to you, that's not a bad thing. You don't have to stop. That just means those leg muscles are quite fired up without getting too scientific about it. <laughs> taking it down and taking it up. Good work, guys. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay, you're gonna hold this next one halfway down. I want you to imagine you got a hula hoop around your hips and you're gonna move your hips around the world without trying to move your knees or the ball. Good work. Okay, reverse it. Moving the hips the other way without moving the ball or the knees as best as you can. Last three, two, one, we're in center. We stand it up and step off the ball. Take it to our lunges. So the ball's gonna be underneath your knee. Step your left foot forward, right toes are tucked behind you. The ball is underneath the right knee. The right knee is sitting on the ball, but I am not totally dumping my body weight. I have an energetic pull up through my inner thighs and pelvic floor. Arms reach forward. We're gonna take one twist right here to the left with both arms. Both arms turn us left. Coming up through center, reach those arms up, and then side bend left. Through center, arms down, twist left, arms up, side bend to the left. Arms at chest tight, turn the chest but not the hips. Arms reach overhead, take a side bend and feel a stretch down the right side body. Let's go two more. We twist and center, we reach up and side bend, finding stability in the legs. We twist and center, we reach up and side bend. 
coming through center. Let's lower those arms, stand it up, and we're gonna switch it out. So bring that right foot forward, left toes are tucked behind you, and place the ball underneath that left knee. So finding that lift through your inner thighs and pelvic floor, relax those shoulders and reach those arms forward. With your arms both in front of the chest, turn your chest, but try not to move your knees. Come back through center, reach your arms up, and we take that side bend over to the right. Arms come at chest height. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. Reach up, stretch over, restack that spine. So even though this is a leg workout, we're getting those core muscles, we're getting that mobility in the back by doing rotation and lateral flexion of the spine. So you know the Pilates instructor with me is very happy about that. Good work, guys. We're gonna go two more each way. Arms at chest tight, we twist and center. Reach up and side bend. Last one. We twist and center. Reach up and side bend. Bring it through center, lower the arms, and bring it on up. Okay, so we've got a little bit of single leg balance work coming into play here. Put the ball behind the back of the right knee and give it a squeeze. So try not to lose the ball. Both hips point straight forward. Put a little bend in that left knee. Flex your right foot. Without straightening your left knee at any point, reach your hips back and your chest forward until you're in a flat back tabletop. Give me two squeezes on the mini ball, kicking into the ball. Squeeze, squeeze, and then slowly returning to your thighs line up. Okay, so keeping that bend in the left knee. Reach your hips back and your chest forward. That thigh is high and you're kicking your heel to your back. Kick, kick. And then using your control to come back up to standing. We got it. So we're hinging forward. Back leg lifts up, that right thigh is up. And then kick the ball in twice. Kick, kick. So think of doing a hamstring curl rather than a lift to lift. Okay, we hinge forward. Two kicks, kick, kick. And then we slowly return to standing. Okay, let's shoot for two more. Inhale, hinge. Okay, look forward, just slightly. Pull your hips back. Lift that right leg up, kick, kick. Slowly return without pressing your right, your left knee back. Make sure there's a bend to it. One more time. We hinge. Right leg lifts. Kick, kick, hamstring curl, squeeze that ball, and slowly stand it up. And take the ball out, we're gonna switch sides. So I'm gonna stay facing this direction so you see a little bit better of the standing leg. So with a straight left leg, put the ball behind the left knee. Bend your right knee. Tilt your tailbone back as you lift your left leg up. Extend the spine forward and then kick that left heel into your butt twice. Squeeze the ball, squeeze the ball. And then use your stability to stand it up. Okay, you guys got it. If this is like impossible for you, hold onto a wall or a chair and use those tools to help you so that you can eventually do it. There is no shame in taking modifications. We're all here trying to get stronger. Good, inhale, hinge. Good, reach your chest forward and your low back to the back of the room. Lift that left thigh up and then curl into the ball and into the ball. And we slowly stand up. Couple more. Keep rocking. We hinge. Lift that back thigh up, pulse in twice, squeeze, squeeze, and slowly stand. We have one more, big breath in, and then we hinge forward, lifting the left leg up behind you, lift the thigh up, and then kick into the ball. Squeeze, squeeze, and then control the return. Ah, and take the ball out, woo! Gets the feet and the arches and all that craziness. Okay, so we're gonna be in a Pilates V. 
and you're gonna place the ball behind the back of your knees, okay? Ball behind the back of the knees, and I basically want you to sit down into the ball. So we're really low, connect the heels, tuck the tailbone, lift the navel, you can have your arms wherever you need them, and you're gonna lift off the ball without, too, without being too high that you lose it, and go down an inch. Up an inch, woo, down an inch. Okay, so got a lot of things working. We're in a really deep squat. The heels are slightly elevated. They don't have to be full on stiletto, but they're up. And we are working all sorts of good stuff. Down an inch and up an inch. Good, up and down. Nice work, guys. Let's go for 10. See where you can relax. I know that sounds insane right now, but I know you can do it. Relax, try not to grip too much. Put the effort in those leg muscles. Eight, seven, let's make them a little bigger. Six, five, almost there. Four, three, two, one. Woo, and then take that ball out. Shake those legs out. Okay, we're gonna bring this down to the floor and hit a mermaid position. So bring your left leg Line it up with the front edge of the mat and bring your right knee in the same 90 degree bend, but behind you. Take the ball over into your left hand. So we're gonna lean a little bit low into that left elbow, lift the right leg, kick it out, bend the knee, lower it down, and straighten your left arm. Bend into your left elbow, lift the right leg, kick, bend the knee, and press back up. Now if you're stronger, you're not gonna lean as far over. And I want you to do the lean before you lift the leg. So first lean, then lift. And when you lift, try not to lean more, right? So I'm not leaning and then <laughs> leaning more. Yeah, so you wanna stay a little bit more upright and that is gonna hit the work in the outer hip. Nice job. Lean, lift, get that leg high up there. Okay, we really haven't done a lot of outer hip yet. So it's fresh. So let's give it a good attack. <laughs> Over, lift, reach, bend, and down. I'm just relaxing my feet right now because they are quite fired up from all that standing work. Okay, let's go four more. We have four. Good. Three. Two. Nice, last one. Good, and then bring it in. Okay guys, let's switch sides. So bring the right leg to that 90 degree bend in front of you. Ball into the right hand, and the left knee is back in line with the hip. If the left knee comes further forward and you're lifting here, it's not gonna be as hard. So you could do that if you need to make it easier. So the ball is in that right hand. I'm going to do a little side bend over to the right, bending my right elbow towards my waistline. Lift the left leg, extend, bend, and lower. And then I'm upright. Soften into that right elbow, lift the left leg, reach it out, bend, and lower. Every time you lift your leg, you are giving me max effort. You are pushing the outside of your thigh up as high as you can. That is how you get results. You gotta give me all the effort you got on every single rep. You can't just be going through the motions and be like, hey, why is this not working? Like, I can't just be like this if that's not my maximum. If that's how high your leg goes and that is your maximum effort, that is amazing. Keep doing it, that's where you wanna be. If it's not your maximum, then uh, come on, let's show up for ourselves right here. You know, my thought is already, always, okay, I'm already doing it. I might as well do my best. <laughs> nice job, guys. We got a couple more here. And then we're gonna hit a side lying series on each leg again. Okay, let's go for four more. We've got four. And three. Last two for two. Ooh, there are the shakes. <laughs> Last one. Good, bring it in, take it down. Okay, we're gonna switch sides so we have a more of a fresh leg. 
Okay, I'm gonna lay down on my left side and put the ball behind the back of my right knee. So straighten the leg, hamstring curl it, and squeeze it for dear life. Bring the legs forward slightly, knees forward in line with the hips, and arch your low back. So your hips should be a little bit behind your chest. Okay, shoulders and hips are stacked. Squeezing into that ball, we're gonna go into a fire hydrant where we turn the knee out to the ceiling as much as we can without moving the pelvis. So your top hip should not move. You can hold it in place if you need to give it a little bit of a, a pointer. <laughs> Okay, so this is like that last move. When I lift my right leg up, I'm, I'm not going to a point where I'm just like doing the motion. I am actively pushing as if there's something right here that I'm pressing against as much as I can to get that outer hip activation. So that's really what's gonna take your bar Pilates movements to the next level. You have to go that extra inch, that extra mile each and every time to get more out of it. Especially with something like this, where this movement isn't necessarily like so crazy challenging. It's a very doable move for all levels, right? And maybe someone who's newer can only get their leg here. But if you're more advanced and you want to get more out of it, you really got to start to work into that big range of motion. Okay, that's my spiel. Last two. Last one. Bring your leg to hip height. Keep a tight squeeze on that ball and circle the leg around. So you're not changing the shape of the leg. We're moving the leg in the hip socket. If you've lost the ball, that means you're kicking your foot around. So I want you to keep your heel squeezing towards your butt the whole time so we don't lose that ball. Okay, and we're going to reverse. Ten. Nine. Woo! Feeling a quiver. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, we're gonna finish this off with pulses. Three, you know it. Two, one, right here, hip height, we pulse. Push up and up. We're gonna do 30. I'm six months away from my 30th birthday. So, seems like a good number. <laughs> okay, last 15. Okay, for the last 10, let's go quicker. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ha, good work. Okay guys, we're finishing this workout on the other side and then we will stretch. So come to lay over on your right side. Put the ball behind the back of the left knee. Bring the knees forward in line with the hips and then check that your low back is arched. So I don't want you to be in a tucked position in your pelvis. Create space in your abdominal wall. Big squeeze on the ball. Okay, and we're gonna rotate that top knee up to the ceiling and I'm going for that active push up each time and then we're back down. Good, squeeze it up and down. Awesome work you guys, let's keep it up. We are at our grand finale, our home stretch for this workout. Just isolating all the good stuff in the legs. If you have a hard time firing these hips and glute muscles, sometimes I like to push into the area I'm trying to fire, which is our outer hip and our glute right now. So apply a little pressure, and sometimes that helps the mind go, oh, okay, this is the muscle that's supposed to fire up. Just an idea if you're having a hard time connecting. Why does this side feel so much harder than the last side? I actually have an answer for you because the bottom leg stabilizes. So this left leg I already got a bit of work when we were working when the right leg was moving. <laughs> okay, we're almost there and we're headed into our circles. Let's do three more for three and two. Keep a big squeeze on that ball. One, bring it to hip height and we're circling the leg around without moving the ball. So the foot is continually working into that hamstring curl to keep the ball from dropping. Okay, reverso. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We've got our pulses right here. Lift and lift. We have 30. You already know that. And then we are done and we're going to stretch. Okay, last 20. 
Okay, last 10. Coming up, we're gonna pick the pace up without letting any other part of your body move. So pick the pace up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, that really burns it out, huh? Okay, so take the ball out and come up to a seat. We are going to stretch, you guys. Crushed it. Let's see how long we made it. It was about a 21 minute leg workout. It's pretty solid. So we're going to sit upright. So I want to make sure you're lifting through that low back. Take your right ankle, cross it over the left thigh. And if this is really tight, you can lean back a little bit because I want you to try to get this lower part of your back more straight. If it's looser, you're going to bring your arms closer and get even taller through your back. Woo! I definitely feel that after that outer hip work. Okay, let's switch sides. So planting the right foot, cross the left ankle over, and then pull up through your core, getting that back nice and straight. Oh, I'm just enjoying the breeze now after that mental and physical push. Good, okay, we're gonna switch legs again. So extend the left leg straight out in front of you. Bring your hands behind the back of the right thigh or the right calf. If you're less flexible, go for the thigh. Pull the thigh to you, lift up tall and straighten the leg. Flex your foot and then bend the knee. This is a little bit like our climb a tree and uh, Pilates. Okay, if you're looser, you could go at the ankle. So just releasing that hamstring. Okay, last one. Nice, okay, stretch that right leg long, either behind the left thigh or the left calf. Pull up through your spine, push through your heel. Oh, my leg muscles are really shaky. <laughs> what about you? And maybe you grab that ankle if you're feeling up for it. Oh, that feels nice. Good, last one. Woo. Okay, let's stretch those inner thighs out. So just give me a nice wide open straddle flex the feet and you know from the side I think this is good to see as well you know a lot a lot of times I see people stretching like this that's not gonna help you get more flexible so take your hands behind your back and straighten your back okay if you still can't get it straight bend your knees or bring them more narrow until you're totally upright okay, then from there you can lean into a little bit so this is your primary goal is a flat back I, I could easily touch the floor but then look how my back looks it's not good form so we have to reel it in sometimes even when we are advanced. Good, let's take three deep breaths and just shake off this workout. Good, two more breaths in and out. Last one, breathe it in. And then exhale, let it go. Good work, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this mini ball Pilates bar inspired leg workout. My legs feel awesome. I hope yours do too. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Pilates On Demand. I look forward to seeing you on the next workout. And yep, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.